Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to plot coordinates on a Cartesian plane. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so getting started with the Cartesian plane, I guess the first thing we kind of need to know is that um, what we've got here is two sets of lines. The first is looking at this yellow line here. Now this yellow line is uh, known as the x-axis. It's also known as the horizontal axis. So that's just something to keep in mind. And then we've got this green line here. No, I can never get this highlighted part right. That's gonna be your uh, y-axis and which is sometimes known as the vertical axis as well. So when it comes to plotting points, what we wanna uh, know is that um, when you get given a coordinate, you actually get given two values. The first value is always going to be on the x-axis. And then the second value is going to be along the y-axis. So if we look at point A, point A says, right now I'm just gonna write it bigger here. So point A is zero, three. So that means we're gonna go along the x-axis, which is at zero. Um, and then on the y-axis, we're gonna go to three. So this point right here is going to be A. Now let's have a look at point B. Now point B is negative four and one. So that means we are going to go along the x-axis, negative four, and then along the y-axis, we're gonna go positive one. So negative four, it is starting from zero, zero, which is the center. And I wanna go to negative four, which is one, two, three, four, there it is. Let's get rid of that. So negative four, and then I wanna go to positive one along the y-axis. So this point right here, which is negative four along the x-axis and positive one along the y-axis. So point B is going to be negative four and one. Now, if you look at point C, we've got five and negative two. Now five is gonna go along the x-axis and the negative two is gonna go along the y-axis. So five and negative two, I'm looking at this point right here. That's going to be C and if you have a look at it, it's five along the x-axis and then negative two is where the y-axis, um, well, on the y-axis is at negative two. And finally looking at uh, question D, uh, not question, point D. Point D is negative four, zero. So along the x-axis, we're gonna go negative four and along the y-axis, we're actually going to go zero. So if that's the case, uh, negative four, and zero is gonna be right there, which we're gonna call it point D. So folks, that's just a quick little intro into plotting coordinates in a Cartesian plane. Uh, always remember, if you ever forget, ah, oh, I can't actually remember which number goes on the x-axis or the y-axis, think about it like in the alphabets. Uh, in the alphabets, x comes before y. So that means your first point is always gonna be x, and your second point is always gonna be y. Um, and then in terms of uh, trying to remember it, um, you know, which one is the x-axis and the y-axis, uh, I don't have any kind of shortcuts for it. I kind of just go, well, x is like this and y is going up. Um, but yeah, so that's just something you just have to kind of remember. Um, but there we go, that's pretty much how we do uh, plotting coordinates on a Cartesian plane. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.